What is up guys? Today is going to be 4004 test 15 slash updates. Um, Today is July 23rd, 2014. First of all, I apologize I didn't have a video out yesterday since it was my birthday yesterday. But um, I did have some problems with the fire alarm system which I will get into now. So you guys are probably going to notice the biggest change here from the last test is that um, I replaced um, the smoke detector that was here for one of my notifier MBG12 LO pulse stations. The reason why I did this is because uh, yesterday I came in here and I was about to make a um, the, the birthday uh, test video for you guys. Um, so, you know, I tested the pulse station and everything was going well until I came to zone 2 and I was ready to test the smoke detector. I sprayed some dry smoke in the detector and it didn't go off. So I sprayed some more, it didn't go off. Um, so after that I decided to take off the head and I uh, inspected the wiring. Uh, I decided to rewire the base, um, and that did no good. Um, so, um, you know, I, I like troubleshooted a bunch of different things, um, you know, um, as to why um, these detectors were, were not working, and the one I had like hooked up to it for a long time was not working. Um, so I decided to turn to the fire panel forums, and Andrew um, told me, like, he's the um, administrator on the forum, um, he told me that I should have checked um, the compatibility between these two wire detectors and the 4004. Um, because basically, um, you're not supposed to use two wire smoke detectors with the 4004 or uh, Simplex panels, and I didn't know that. Um, I, I, I did post a topic there a few months ago when I first got these detectors, when, when Dad first brought these detectors home from his, his work. Um, and um, Andrew told me um, that I, I should have checked it, and yesterday when I posted that topic, he's like, you obviously um, it didn't pay uh, attention to my, my warning, um, which I uh, tried to, ch to check the compatibility, but then someone else chimed in and told me how to wire it up, and I just kind of got a bit excited. And, um, you know, I didn't think it would be a problem. So uh, I just, you know, I, I like had one of, these one of these detectors on on the system for three or four months with absolutely no issues at all. And uh, I thought I was in uh, the green there, and it wasn't until yesterday that, that I went to test the detector and it didn't activate. So basically, I've come to the conclusion that um, all, all three of these detectors are fried because I tried all three uh, heads. Um, like, one of these bases I haven't tried yet, um, but um, I tried all three heads, um, but um, they, it, it, they, they just didn't work. So I have a feeling that... All three of these detectors are fried in in some way, and uh, like that's a real shame because these were like really cool 1980s uh, Cerberus smoke detectors, um, which they they were working fine for a while, as I told you guys. But or like one of them, yeah, I, I told you guys I had like well one of them on the system for like three or four months before it, it you know it crapped out on me. So and the other two, I don't know how those got fried, but. I'm not sure because they've just been like sitting here and I've only tested them once on the 4004 so I'm not sure um but um you know I'll just have to see about like getting some you know simplex like 2098 detectors or something something that'll become more compatible with this panel um um I suppose I'm lucky that um I, I did not fry this panel um because I think I could have easily fried the zones on this panel but um I'm lucky that I didn't because this like would have been the um, the third panel that has uh, you know like broken or I fried, um, which would would have really sucked. Um, so I was really you know like fortunate here that I uh, didn't fry the zones on on this on this panel. So um, so since I don't have sm uh, smoke detectors now, um, I swapped them out for the pull station. So um, today um, I'm I'm just gonna be doing something a bit different. Um, uh, today I've got a um, one of my Wheelock exceeder exceeders from uh, my dad's work. I've got my Genesis Commander three strobe um, GEC. The model is uh, GEC three um, dash twenty four WR, I believe. GES three dash twenty four WR. I always get the 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 C and the S mixed up. Um, I, I've got my uh, RSG RMS 1T pull station rebranded by Simplex, and I just told you what that 
what this thing is. Um, I got it from, from Dad's work. Um, and uh, the different part about today's test is I've got the 4004 coded to um, what's called simple coding. And basically what, what simple coding is, is um, it, it's... Um, if a do device is activated in a certain zone, the number of that zone is the number of times that uh, that the signals will sound. So let's say I activated this pulse station in zone two, then the then the signals would, would go like buzz, buzz, and then there's like um, if you guys have seen that video, I think his name is Twopley Boy. Um, if you if you've seen that that video by him, um, he he did that ins inspection at the school where he activated a, a pull station in, in like zone seven, so the, the 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 signal sounded seven times and then stopped and then like cycled again. So um, the four thousand four does have this coding option. Um, I, I just like haven't you know like play with it too much. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go go ahead go ahead and test this and then I will uh, go into something else. So. Uh, first, we will test zone one, which is the um, this this pole. So let's do this. We're probably not going to get too much flashing out of this, just because it's you know just just being pulsed. So it's a two wire device. Sorry, that was my 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 stomach there. <laughs> Just had breakfast. Let's go ahead and silence that. Um, so as you guys can see, because this device is a two wire, um, the strobe and the horn are uh, tied together on this device. Um, so like therefore, um, the the strobe doesn't flash uh, for too long. Sorry, that was my phone. Um, so yeah, uh, so that's why I've I've got that wired into NAC two, so that will constantly flash even after the system is silenced. Got those as usual. Let's go ahead and reset the uh, RMS one T. My man, my stomach's still going crazy. Let's see. I don't think no. Darn it, darn it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna have to do this with two hands to reset this pulse station because you know. Until I am you know, able to mount the system on the wall, it's going to be pretty difficult. Um, I'm going to reset here. And while that resets, I'm going to quickly check my phone. Since the, the 4004 takes well to reset. Text message. Facebook, okay. Um, okay, well, so let's uh, go ahead and test the uh, this the, this one now. It'll sound sound two times. See, it sounds two times instead of one. Okay, let's go ahead and re reset this pulse station. This one's also a challenge to reset on camera, so let's just do something like that. Stick the key in, pull it open. There we go. All right. That was actually, I think, the fastest time I've, you know, I've recorded with, with that pulse station before, as far as resetting it. Okay, we'll reset the system there, and uh, now I'm gonna move into some other updates. So as you guys know, um, you, you, you guys like should know by now that um, a few months ago, or actually in late 2013, there was a replacement at my dad's work, um, and they had a, a, a Cerberus Paratronic System 3 panel there, that's where I got all these smoke detectors, this, I got this, 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 all those, all those, and all of these things, and um, not to mention... All of this, which I still have for sale, um, and also the smoke detectors. 
Um, so, uh, about a month ago, I would say, probably like less than a month ago, actually, um, you know, um, I told you guys, or actually, like, let's first flash back to, um, you know, like March or something, or I think it was April, um, we t took a trip over to Dad's work, and I got to see the fire alarm con control panel room, uh, and I got to see the brand new panel that they put in there, um, they put in, like, brand new spectral or advances, um, and I got to see the new, uh, I think it was a notifier panel, yeah, um, and in the corner, I found some uh, parts of the old panel, um, the System 3, and, and it was two huge panels of, uh, like, mainly the, Z the, the ZU-35 zone cards, um, but I, I was uh, unable to find the main control for the panel, um, and that's because, you know, I, I thought for sure they had thrown it out by, you know, by them because it was a smaller part than, than the other, you know, two big panels. And I thought they would have th thrown it out. Um, but about a month ago, or probably like, like less, like as I just said, um, I, I got back from uh, like driver's ed. And um, I saw this sitting on the table after I get I got home. That's right. This is um, a, 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 Cer a Cerberus Paratronics model CP-35 control um, for a uh, system 3 this is, this is the main part of the system 3 panel here um, so yeah I I was really surprised that dad found this he, he told me it was like sitting in uh, you, you know f it, it was in in that room but it was in the far back and I and I just didn't see it when I like went there but I was I, I really thought that, that they had th th uh, thrown this out by now you know since they replaced the system late. 2013 and you know like now it's it was you know like um 2014 so um so yeah i've um you know so now i've got all these system three parts um and i figured since you know like now that i probably got you know the main part and probably like one of the most expensive parts um i i, I figured that i would try to get this panel going uh i'm gonna just like give you guys a quick view of everything on the panel I have absolutely no idea how this thing works. Um, if anyone could like help me out with this, I, I don't know what the terminals do. I, I, I have no idea what these ports are for. Um, I, have, I have a feeling they they you know you know somehow connect to these cards in some way. Um, I'm not sure, but you got the uh, the reset switch, the silent switch, and the trouble silent switch. And that's that's pretty cool. Um, you, you know you got two uh, two built-in zones on this panel and um, any um, extra zones that you want you've got to have these cards um, so yeah um, I do know you can build these panels like how you want um, but you know I'm not sure what cards I actually need to make it go I I'm not even sure if I you know need this card or you, you know this card I, I have like no idea um, this used to be a 60 zone panel, like that's, you know, this, this thing, like, used to run off this, um, and as you guys can see, they had 60 zones there, so, um, I'm not sure if, um, you know, obviously I would probably, like, only be using this, and then this I would, like, convert it into a, like, no, I'll just keep it at, like, four zones or, like, whatever. Um, but I, I'm, I'm not quite sure how to do this, um, you know, I would like to get this, like, mounted a, into some kind of, you know, security cabinet or something, and I would like to get this panel up and, and running and stuff. Um, so, I'm gonna try to, you know, search up some manuals for, for this thing, and if you guys know, like, what to do, um, like, what I can, can do to get this going, um, then please tell me. So, thank you guys for watching, um, and, um, I suppose for now, that'll be it.